Academy. Immediately upon assuming my position as Chief Justice on the 25th of September 2023, one of the very first acts I did was to call a meeting of the Board of Governors, which has not been held for a considerable period of time. And the first two duties that I had to perform was, the first one was to select a Director General of the Federal Judicial Academy. I interviewed four candidates and Hayat Ali Shah Saab was selected as the Director General of this Academy. The other task, knowing that the Federal Judicial Academy needs constant involvement if you want to make it a success. I read the statute carefully and discovered Section 8, which enabled the appointment of an expert advisor and to ensure that the Federal Judicial Academy does not only deliver, but I am constantly kept in touch with it. I suggested the name of uh, one of our own, Justice Sayyid Mansoor Ali Shah, as the expert advisor under Section 8 of the statute, and he was unanimously approved by the board. And uh, in addition to his duties, he performs this function as expert advisor pro bono basis. There is no additional emoluments. It is a labor of love, and I believe that he has delivered in a very short period of time. It's not quite, it's just a little over three months, and you can see the changes that have taken place, the changes that he has brought about. Uh, I have given him virtually a carte blanche uh, with my other <laughs> duties. I have sometimes told him, you just do it, I'll sign it, not to worry. So we are working on very closely. Uh, I, uh, he is performing wonderfully and I wish him continuous success because in the success of this academy lies the success of all of us as an institution to deliver justice throughout Pakistan. Every province has, a, I believe, a provincial judicial academy, but this is the federal judicial academy, which, as rightly pointed out by Justice Shah, brings about cohesiveness, connectivity, and communication most of all. I am very pleased to know that for the very first time, the court staff, we don't quite give them the importance that they deserve and we don't quite acknowledge the work they do. Without court staff, an efficient court staff, a judge may flounder. So the 48,000 court staff that were here uh, hitherto before ignored and now have come on to the radar of the Federal Judicial Academy. And I would suggest to the Chief Justices of the provinces and the Islamabad capital territory as well to ensure that they also receive the requisite training uh, in their academies and they can maybe uh, copy what has been done at the Federal Judicial Academy and, in, and add to it with regard to their own particular requirements. Then we have 3,200 judges uh, throughout Pakistan in the district judiciary, of which a sizable number, I'm happy to note, 500 are ladies, and they also require training from time to time. There is training at the provincial level, but the federal uh, level training not only brings everyone together, brings Pakistan together, unifies the country, unifies the judiciary, but they also share valuable experiences with each other. What there are variations, some local things which are not quite known even within the province. For instance, a district office a judge or a, dist, a judge in Karachi would not know anything about a preemption suit. Uh, so there are many things which even within the province you don't know. Uh, each other's provinces you don't know. 
so it's good place to share ideas to bring everyone together the justice mansoor ali shah has made